Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are watching the sun rise or set or so. Oh, it's rising. Nice. Okay, we're having a, a sunrise. Yay! And uh, we need to figure out how to fix this problem of copper. I have a couple of ideas, um, but I think we're going to do with the boring belt idea. I was going to think about like, huh, maybe we should make some towers and <clears throat> ship it in with um, our drones. But that's pretty expensive on power usage. So what I'm going to do instead is find some copper. I am going to belt it in. Oh, there's copper down there. It's pretty far away. But it might be <laughs> what we got. Let's see, there is copper over here. That could be really good. A good... Ah, and then there's supplemental copper over there as well. So I think, I think I'm going to grab it from over there. Okay, I think that's our best idea here, our best plan. So let's take our uh, belts and just kind of outline this area a bit. Uh, like this. And we'll go like that. And I think with this one, this one is going to be prioritized. So we're going to put it like this um, and then just get this copper over there. So let's see, how do we want to go around here? I think any way we go is just fine. Uh, let's just take this over here, go that way. There we are. I want to get this early part of the stuff done. I'm ever conscious of this number running out, as in we don't have more titanium. But at the moment, we are actually lacking this um, this copper for the green chips, which is making our blue chip production, our blue cube production, quite slow. So we are kind of, yeah, suffering under that at the moment. We do have a tiny bit of copper here. I guess I can go ahead and chuck that in. And let's see, we can chuck this in here. And copper... Here, take stuff, take stuff. Yeah, take it all. Hooray! We have ten left. There we go. Okay, got rid of the copper. That's nice. Alright, so we're back over here. Uh, our copper mine is up here. So I think for here, I think we can... I, want, I, I think we're just going to put some foundation down here. I think that's the way we want to approach this issue. Just kind of gently foundation this area. I'm not a big fan of foundation, as you probably have uh, surmised. Because it's a bit of a... I don't know, I think it looks horrible and it's ugly. So yeah, not, not a fan of this. Now, we only need a little bit. We need... Let's see, we have six smelters, so we need 12 veins. So what I'm going to do is only connect enough for 12 veins. We have seven and six, which is 13. And I think that's going to be more than enough here. I guess we have to go there and let's go that way. Connect this one up. And I'm going to add our power poles within. Oh, will that cover all of them? Hooray. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Now then, I want to grab this and then go diagonal. Okay. And then let our little robots go through here and pick all this stuff or put all this stuff down not pick it up all right there we go life is getting better for us because now we have copper hooray so now the research should start getting a bit faster now i should have done this at the same time i connected the cop the iron that was a bad mistake on my part because i didn't realize i thought it was like oh yeah it's the yellow cubes being slow no it's not the yellow cubes actually produce at a higher rate if they have enough titanium than the blue and red. Uh, so that was my bad in not like, estimating that properly. Oof, we need stuff. We need stuff desperately. Ay, ay, ay. Um, it's okay though. You know, one, one thing I should have done is I should have, the one I was looking at this the other day, I was like, I should have put it this way. Look how pretty this is. Why is this one not functioning? Hello? Uh, <laughs> anyway, I should have done it that way. Uh, anyway, I think we're gonna need titanium right now. I don't think we can... Can we afford to... I think we can actually afford to wait right now. We have a little bit here. And I think I'm gonna grab some from here. And 
yeah, let's just leave three stacks there. I'm going to prioritize having this titanium in this thing. So you take this, thank you. Okay. Now I do have now two regular towers. And with this research, we should be able to make the bigger towers. We're not going to need the, um, that, uh, it's titanium alloy stuff. And then we're going to need 20 more pink dumbbells each. So maybe I shouldn't have done that just now because we need stuff for dumbbells. No, actually it's okay. We can, can we produce, let's produce 40. One, two, three, and four. Oh, hold on. Just a second, we need to go and grab some green motors because we are short on those. Yeah, I'll take both sets of those. How many regular motors? We have plenty of regular motors, so we're good on those, but uh, F, there we go. And so that's 10, so we'll do 30. One, two, three, right, 30 of those so that we can be prepared. We don't have to handcraft those later. We're just kind of like, you know, trying to get stuff organized right now. Now, one other thing that I would like to do is, um, so we can get rid of this silliness because we fixed this issue here. <clears throat> okay, get rid of this. Um, and I want to make something called a fractionator. And fractionators are going to help us get the deuterium to make the deuteron fuel cells, which we actually have access to already. Um, we don't have the motors. That is the biggest problem, I think, so far. And I'm wondering where we should make these motors because they do require a heck of a lot of um infrastructure to make because we need many of them i'm thinking about making them on our other planet the um the lava planet me 1549 because uh, of lots of iron and copper that's already there so um <laughs> yeah the thing is where do we get all of this stuff let me look at our current planet and see what we have here we have very little copper here that is a situation that is kind of scary, kind of bit scary. Whereas we have tens of millions on the other planet. So I think it's definitely the call to make it over on the lava planet. Okay, we decided that, good. But um, we do need to start making the fractionators, I feel. Where are they? They are here? Yeah, there we are. And we just need a few processors for those. Now we are continuing to make these guys. I want to make many of these. I want to make like a bunch of, what are we lacking? Okay, let's find out what we're missing and just go get some steel real quick and get these finished up. Actually, I'll take the whole thing of steel right now um, so that we can, we can just dump it in that other container once we are finished with um, making the fractionators. Okay, so 20 is a really great amount to have. You know what, I'll just do all of them. And then we need glass. We need more glass. Where is that? That's over here, hooray. And we can even make more of them, hooray. All right, more, more. Okay, we'll make all the ones we can. And then we're out of the stone building material. A few people have asked me, um, hey KOS, you have a missing building in the mall. No, I didn't. I don't. I, I don't know what I'm going to put here, if anything. I'm not sure. This might be a nothing. I just put it there just to uh, remind myself that, ah, there's a space. And we can put something there in the future. Now, uh, one other thing I wanted to make is this. I wanted to make like four of these guys, these um, second level storages. It has 60 slots and it's just so I can dump stuff more quickly instead of going into two separate things. Yay, we got our towers. Okay, so let's craft these. We need some of our magical titanium alloy that we've been working so hard to get. And that is going to be around here. Yeah, there we go. Hello, hi stuff, how you doing? And I think we can put in... <clears throat> some of the steel. We don't need all of this steel. We just need a tiny bit. Let's see how much we have now. Four stacks. Yeah, I'll give you the remnants of that last stack. And check on our crafting process right now. That's great. 
Okay, we can make two. This is fabulous. Oh my god, this is exciting. This is actually really exciting. Um, hmm. Now then, where to do the things? I think the thing is going to be maybe importing motors from the other planet, importing titanium from the other planet. Remember, this whole area here was actually designated for that. Okay, so we probably do not have enough science. Let's see how much science we have. We have a little bit being made. We have some in the box, though. Oh, we have tons. Oh, wow. Okay, so this, what is, what's happening? Inventory capacity. Okay, that's actually a good research to do. I think what we can do right now, I'm going to just go to another, uh, let's go. Let's go to another place. I'm going to leave our stuff in a box right here. So, hey, big storage, how you doing? There we go. One click and we're done. So let's go to titanium land. And uh, where is titanium land? We need to find it. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's where we were. Okay, there it is. Me 1549 is dead ahead. Let's go. Okay. Did I remember to have enough fuel? <laughs> Probably not. Nope. Nope. Definitely didn't. Okay. <laughs> that was not ideal. Uh, but sh it should be enough. I hope. It should be enough. If anything, you know what? I'm going to pick up a little bit of graphite when we're there. So I have two towers. This is great. We did get the inventory capacity. So we have one more line of inventory. I can go ahead and bring that down. But that is going to mean we are going to have constant titanium production that's good this is very very good okay i i am quite happy by this you can probably tell but you never can tell i don't know you can tell never can tell i'm not sure oh this is cute we can if we click tab we can do a what does that mean oh well that's fancy look at that oh I have never seen that before. That's fun. Ooh. All right. Okay, we're looking for up. Uh, when I'm looking where to go, I look on the mini map to see structures. So I know that we are. Oh, actually, actually, this is a great place to go because I can go to our <laughs> our place here making energetic graphite and pick up a stack. I think one stack should be more than enough. And I'll just put that directly into our fuel thingy thingy. There we go. This planet has so much. 19 million and 20 million of uh, iron and copper, respectively. And it is nuts for resources. So, yeah, it's cool. It is very cool. Now then, um, I'm going to... I'm going to do a thing, which is getting belts. Because apparently... I forgot to do that. I forgot that we were getting interstellar towers. Now, where do we want to put this thing? I'm going to look at the map and see. I guess it doesn't really matter because anything that we're going to deliver to the tower can come via belt anyway. So I think let's just put it here. I think this is the, the thing to do is just put it here. Um, do I want to move it? Possibly. Do I want to... I can actually move these guys off to the left if needed. So I think I think we're actually good. Let's, I think we're good. Yeah, let's shove this down. Here. Sure. Oh, lack of item. Oh, no. You have established an interstellar logistics station. Yeah, I have. You betcha. Logistics transportation among uh -huh. the planets. With it, no need to transport <clears> cargo <throat> between <throat> planets manually anymore. Yeah, we know, dude. Just we're good. Thank you. Bye-bye. I can't click them off. Oh, there we go. Okay. So when we have a station like this, we need to enable the thingies. So we're going to get titanium ingots in here. And um, we need to connect power. So let's just do that. Oh, no power poles. I hope I have left some for us in one stage of this. Yay. Okay. Let's get power poles then. And we'll put one right here. Okay. And what this thing is going to do, it's going to fill up to a specific amount of stuff. And I think we'll just do something like 5,000 or sure. Why not? 
Um, and the amount here is stuff that's charging. Oh my, you know what I forgot? I forgot drones. Anyway, um, you can set the ma max charging power down here. And sometimes it's advisable to raise it just a bit. So maybe like, I don't know, 150 megawatts. For other stations that are never used, you may not want to use it at all. Um, but drones, um, they transport stuff locally on the planet. And then the logistics vessel transport between planets. So those are the two things you need to think about. Um, and obviously I forgot them. So it's a really good idea that we came here with the very definite idea that we are gonna, I'm gonna bring my tower. I'm not leaving it here. Um, the idea of course, that we're just going to, um, you know, have a bigger inventory and carry all the stuff in the things. So we have good stuff here. I think I'm going to turn this off though. We're going to take these guys out and I am actually going to do, um, sorter. Hello. Oh yes, of course. I, I, uh, huh, let's uh, vacuum them up, vacuum up the sorters. Cause I need them. Where did they go? They, they didn't go where I thought they went. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I think that gave it to us. Okay, so we're gonna take them out of here. There we go. Um, though it does look like we may not have any gaps, so this may never empty out. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Let's set this over here, and then I want to just take two more stacks. Okay, we're ready to return. Let's go. Go to the world. Whoa, it's still tethering me with that uh, thinky thingy. Looks like it. <laughs> That's so strange. That feels really weird, actually. Where did Zayav go? Hello? No. Where? I wanna escape the gravity, escape the string. Oh no. All right, let's see if we can find our other plant. I just had it and now I can't find it at all. Thingy. Air. And the marks seem to be not where I expected them. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's see if we can do something similar here. Tab. Let me just click this thing and then click it off. There we go. I got rid of it. Yay. So I'll untab that now and let's get some speed going on here. This is really exciting. And soon we'll also be able to import processors uh, from our other planet. So life is going pretty well for us right now. This is actually really good. But we do need to build some logistics vessels. That is something that is going to be quite important. All right, here we go. We are here. We need to also try to automate some of the things. Oh, no power. Oh no. Help. Okay, this will help if we do this. Oopsies. No. Oh, there. That's fine. Yep. At least hydrogen power. We can uh, start to walk in it. I don't think it does it deplete faster it does deplete a little bit faster than we can generate but it's okay we'll um we'll get there even if slowly <laughs> the important thing is we have towers hooray uh, yay the yay is actually real now we can fully yay without feeling any inferiority now we have our towers okay so i guess we should look at what these drones require so these guys, they need these things called thrusters. And I think those are the reinforced thrusters, which are just green motors and more titanium stuff. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to set some of the titanium in here. So I feel like we need more of stuff. I'm going to also grab this stuff out of here. Okay. And we can get graphene out of here as well. Oh, wow. We have tons. Nice. Okay, life is going really good in KOS land. I don't know about your land, but my land's going well. Yay. Okay. Okay, so stuff is there. This is fabulous. I guess we can put another... Oh, we have lack of item, yeah. Um, 
Let's go back and pick up our stuff from here. Okay, and everything is organized. Let's pick that up as well, because we don't really need it. Alrighty, I guess we might we might could put a few of these in there. And I'll also make another uh another box over here because in reality we definitely need this to be we need to use this stuff before we actually use the tower to bring stuff in because otherwise uh, things are not going to work as well but we are having an issue with supply here and that's this very bad belt thing here and I didn't really notice that it's so far away so the better thing to do in this situation would be to do this and then put a couple of uh, inserters out. Hello? Oh, bottom. There we go. I clicked on the wrong chest. But as you see, this... Oh, well, that's actually... Ooh, it's the wrong color of belt. No. All right, there we go. It isn't quite enough because we don't have the sorter capacity bonus. So let's put two of those. And that should be... There we go. Filling the belt quite easily there. All right, can I... Nope. We're going to have to put another chest on top. And that's just fine. We'll just put the rest of this in here. And call that good. Okay, what I want to do here is I'm going to produce... You know what? We can produce 10. I'm going to make 10 of them. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, geez. We need... Um, let's go get some more motors because we'll definitely have had those made. And it's so nice to just be able to pick them up in the mall and uh, just use them. I don't know if I should make more stacks of them. I feel like it's probably not necessary. Uh, let's make 10. There we go. And it's making the thrusters now so that we can do all of our things that we need. How many of these do we have? Let's just kind of replace that with that and get these. And I'm kind of, kind of done using the yellow belts. I think we're done with those now. I'm definitely feeling the urge to not carry them around <laughs> and that feels very good. Now, uh, as we get stuff made and things are going to be processed, we are definitely looking for um, making uh, more, more and more things automated. I think, let's see, is it these guys that need? Yeah. So I guess what we can do here is get some copper and some green motors and just make those things right here the pink barbells so let's just grab this here and get another box over there this is we're just gonna have this this is a very temporary setup but i feel like it, it's gonna make them over time and that's kind of what we need right now so let's see we're gonna need let's see put this in here put some green motors in here as well and i think we're just gonna un actually we should limit this to several i like that yeah and we need to have okay first filter for um yes quick next filter for green motors and then one for going in and this is going to build those things for us and i think we're pretty much good right now with all of this stuff. So this has plenty of stuff to make. Now we were gonna set up fractionators and I think that's probably a good idea. Why is this, uh, well, it's just slow, I guess. We do have plenty of titanium. That is not the issue for sure. Um, we have, well, actually it's yellow science that is behind. So let's just investigate if there's anything else that we can do here. It looks like this is full. It looks like all of this is full. So I think it's just about, um, yeah, it's just these machines. They're just taking a bit and that's okay. Cause we got time. We got plenty of things to do. We are not lacking for things to do. And one of those things I want to do is go over here. I've kind of like scouted this place. Um, because here we have this kind of like a nice, long-ish landform which will take a minimal amount of landfill if we decide to landfill anything but what we want to do here is make our um, deuterium and we're going to use fractionators and these fractionators are going to last us into end game uh, and i don't think we're ever going to replace them because 
Uh, as far as I have seen, they are the most superior form of um, creating deuterium. There are other buildings that do it, but they, they cost a heck of a lot more power. So these are actually the best solution for a number of reasons. So what, I, what we're going to do now, and this is so nice that we have the automatic stuff and things thing. We're going to go along this line and we're just going to, you know what I thought of also while I was having my food? Wouldn't it be great if the devs added a thing? So we just get blue outlines, right? Would it not be cool if they did a like numbers on top of them? Like this would be one, two, three, four, five so that we could easily count instead of like me having to recite the phone book to you. That would be so cool. Um, if anyone wants to email them or message them, that would be fabulous. Cause when, after I finish an episode, I forget, I completely forget everything I talk about. So anyway, here we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we need 19 to go half and half. You know what? Let's go 20. That's 14. And then 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and landfill this area as well. There we go. And then up here needs to also be fixed. There's 20, I think. So the other side is going to be a little bit different, I guess. So firstly, I want to... We need to create um directional belts here and then we need one running down the center that is very important so i'm going to connect this side first and the reason for that is sometimes the buildings are a bit close together and it's hard to connect them from certain perspectives so i'm just going to do this right now and it will be fine hopefully it'll just make it easier would be nice if we could like copy belts as well but i'm hoping i guess that's going to be in the blueprint phase that they're giving us but i hope they don't do shareable blueprints because that just completely messed up factorio in many ways i mean i still love the game i just feel like it's a good thing to not just copy and paste all the time because i think that's kind of the point of the game is just to build stuff and enjoy yourself and try out different designs and stuff it's, it's really a cool thing. So anyway, let's go here and then we're going to do a bridgey bridgey over there because we're going to have this stuff come out. Now, fractionators are funny things. Um, what matters most is belt speed uh, in the, mm, the machines going into them, basically. Because the belt speed, it basically pushes the uh, hydrogen through it. Okay, let's get these on this other side now, and we're just going to do as many as we can. And then, of course, fill in where we need to. Okay, more inventory capacity. Hello, thank you. That's exciting. Okay, so let's do some more of this. Okay, that's fine. And just do as many as we can. We're missing two machines, but that's not a big deal. So what we want to do from here is we want to take this belt... Oh, hello. This one, please. There we go. Now, what we want to do ASAP is get the highest level belts because that is going to determine how fast these fractionators function. As I said, the belts... Oh, here we go. Here's the annoying part. It's just like, ugh, no. It's, it's, it's because it's such a tight array. You can put them further apart, but I'm just like going to fiddle with it because it feels okay to do so. Now then, uh, let's go here, and there, and there, and there, and there. Kind of helps to, oh, kind of helps to do these one, one after the other. As in click, 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 like that. Move, click, click, kind of thing. Okay, there we go. Also, I feel like I should clarify. When I say that blueprints messed up, or shareable blueprints messed up Factorio a bit, I'm not saying it messed it up for me, because 
I don't really use other people's blueprints, so I'm I'm immune to the messed up part. <laughs> but I do feel like it really changed the uh, the community and things, and it yeah, it was just because all of a sudden people felt like they couldn't play the game. They didn't want to play the game because, oh my god, I have to have this perfect array that such and such had on their, on their video. And it, it kind of eliminated this desire to kind of play with it and perfect it yourself. So I just feel kind of sad for people who, who don't want to explore anymore. But anyway, I will be getting to Factorio soon. I have something really cool in the works. Um, it is one of my favorite games of all time, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back to it. Anyway, let's see. Is this the right? That is the right alignment there. So perfect. Okay, so here we have our fractionator set up. And you might be wondering what goes in this. Uh, it is hydrogen that goes in here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a belt from faraway lands, which is over here. I think we're just going to take it across. Let's do this line underneath this one yeah, right there. That's fine. We're going to come back there so I don't care if we abandon the bots. Hey, joke's on you. I don't care if we abandon them at any point. <laughs> anyway, um, so what we have here is we have the output for the hydrogen tanks. We've got this hydrogen tank here and much of it is going to science. And I want to... Make sure and click this and make sure it goes to science. So we're going to do an output priority there. And then the next belt is going to be coming from here. We need to go on up, up a level. Then we're going to go across here this way. Okay. And then R this and go there and then go down. Okay. This is kind of what we want. This is looking great. Um, we might change this. It has two belts going in-ish, but not two belts. This is just a partial belt of stuff. So, um, but, but having said that, we do not need a full belt uh, being constantly fed because fractionators are kind of funny things. They will process this hydrogen. Um, however... It has a, I don't know if it's 5% chance or 1% chance, something like that, of actually making a deuterium uh, atom. So as you see, it's going to go through. Does it tell us here? Hello? I don't know. Let's see. We can probably check it in our crafting thingy thingy. Hey there. Ray receivers. Oh, that's great. Okay. So let's see, where do we have this thing? Is it here? Deuterium fractionation. Okay, it's 1% chance. So for every 100 things, it's going to take off one. Uh, and the rest keep flowing through the other machines. In fact, they're going through the other machines so much that they haven't even gone to the other side yet. But some of them are hitting that 1% chance and they're over there. Uh, this is the first place to upgrade with fast belts, like the level three belts. That is, that's gonna be here. Now I'm gonna build a tank, uh, or a couple of tanks actually, because deuterium is kind of fun stuff that we're gonna need for a lot of stuff, including those deuterium fuel rods. So I'm just gonna make a very tall storage there. And let's grab this belt and we can, yeah, we can go down there, that's fine. Oh, I should have built a splitter there. I didn't even think about that. Jeez. Okay, let's just delete these two belts. And I'm going to put this deuterium in here. Because I really don't need it. Okay, there we go. So we have our first deuterium in there. Um, and I guess we're pretty good to go on other stuff. Now, I guess I made... I must have made those uh, thrusters and there's our logistics stations or logistics bots. Now let's see if we can build more of these. This is going to be the tough part. We need to go and get some titanium. Let's go over here. Let's get some of this fun stuff. Good. I'll take that. Thank you. And 
Uh, mini barbells. Oh, yeah, we had very few of those because I didn't think to bring more motors and the copper plates over here. So I'm going to do that right now. In fact, I'm going to increase the storage of the motors, the green motors, because I would like to be able to pick up more at a time, which makes a lot of sense. I don't know how much we're going to need, though, because I am planning to make those on the other planet. Let's just do, let's do one row. And then I'm going to pick up some copper. Copper is important as well. And of course, this isn't getting used up very much at all. All right, that's going to have to suffice, I guess, because the rest is being used. Let's see, take this, take that. OK, that should be enough to fill up the uh, pink barbell makers for now. And we'll just let that machine do stuff for us. Meanwhile, we can check on the titanium and find out how much is being used from the box. OK, so let's go here and here have all that stuff, have all this stuff and make us some pink barbells. Let's go, 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 go. All right, so it is making right now. Good, good. And I guess I can put the graphene back in here because I don't really need it. Uh, I was using it for pink barbells. So we'll let that continue onward. And I don't know, do I have enough? Uh, I have 17 and we need 20. Okay, so we don't quite have enough there yet. Now this is taking a while to, yeah. Taking a while to empty itself, isn't it? Okay, we have a little bit here. I'll take this out and then let's X this. And we might could take a lot of this out actually. Let's just leave a couple for now. And I want to dump most of this into this box. All right, there we go. So those are going to be, that's going to be that. I guess we're not really using it very fast from over there. So we might have to just use it over here. But what I can do is something else, of course. Um, and that would be to completely remove this. Uh, and, and build the tower right here because I kind of might have forgotten, <laughs> slightly forgotten that you can just put the stuff in the tower. Oh dear. Okay, well, we all learn new things every single day and it's fine. Yeah, uh, I just forgot a thing and I relearned it. So that's okay too though. Okay, I'm gonna put this a bit away so that we have plenty of outlets because this probably will serve uh, quite a bit of stuff here. So. What we're going to do here is we're going to use titanium here. We're going to put in all the titanium we need. Oops. Uh, nope. I think it, what is it? Control click? No. Ah, there we go. It's, it is control click. I was just shift clicking. It's fine. Okay. There we go. So we have much in here now. What we want to do here is we're going to set a maximum we want like 5,000 and then we're going to say remote demand as in go get stuff from other places. When it's a, a supply, as in local supply or remote supply, that means it is the place where you grab stuff from, not to. So let's put in a couple of our ships. We're gonna put in four ships. I wanna be kind of cautious about using these things right now. And I want to, let's use a uh, thing here and we need to choose a filter filter is really important you have to choose a filter in order for it to come out so this is the stuff we already have but once we power this because it's not powered at the moment once we power it that means we're going to be able to start sending ships off into the universe so you can see our ships they're right up here we have four ships oh there they go there's goes there goes one uh, and they lift off and they're going to go to the um they're going to go to the other planet and pick up stuff. Now, what we can do is get another local tower, which is a small tower, um, and start transporting materials around the base. Like we could get one over here to get the titanium and the, uh, the steel and stuff like that. And that's going to be a little bit cheaper than uh, a full logistics tower. 
uh, but we don't have to. It just kind of depends on how we want to do things. All right, and we also, I think we also need a tower to get some motors in here because that seems like we need stuff. Oh, this is so exciting though, oh my God, I can't, I, I'm just like so thrilled with this. Okay, we need some titanium for ourselves. I completely forgot about that, so let's go and get some. I didn't want to uh, grab some from that particular place. Uh, I just wanted to grab, I don't know, like 200 or something. Let's see, and then now we can build two of these. Let's build a couple more towers. And we're gonna get more barbells. We're gonna get more things. Okay, so we need, let's see, 30 more barbells. We should be able to get a few of those. Uh, so we have a total of, wait, did we need 40 each or 20 each? Oh, it's 20 each. So we just need 40. Okay, so this is gonna keep on working on stuff, which is perfect. It is exactly what we want. I can't believe we now have automated science. Yellow science is now good to go, like literally good to go. Um, wow, all the things and all the stuff, isn't it great? Um, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking of doing right now is getting uh, some stuff automated, as in maybe getting these guys transported, maybe getting the steel transported as well with a small tower because that will enable us to actually automate those things. So we're gonna need copper. Uh, we're going to need, let's get these guys. Uh, we're gonna get the motors, green motors. And that's going where? That's going there. Okay, I see. All right, so probably here. Let's put this just right here. Just gingerly stick it on over here. Though that's, uh, no, that's actually too close. Yeah, I want to dismantle this, please. Yeah, I'm aware, guy. Go away. Shoot. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> don't bother me. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is we're going to just shut this off here because uh, we can put these in a logistics station now. Um, now then, how do we want to do this part? This ring stuff is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, <laughs> one, two, three. That would work, I guess. I'm not sure if this will work. One, two, three, four. Okay. Can I do that? Let's see if I can do this. I don't, I'm not sure if this is going to work if we do a splitter here. Tab, tab, and there. Yes, it will work, actually. Nice. But that might be a problem. That belt thingy, or that, uh, this thing might be an issue. I'll put it a little bit further because of that, in case we need to... Okay, let's get proper belts now. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go up two. Okay, we can go down two there, and we're gonna just kind of snake through here. I'm gonna snake through here. That's all right. And now I can go down on the ground and go like this, I think. I think this is gonna work, yeah. So we'll go in here and then put in these green motors. Uh, while we're thinking about this, actually, let's put in not very many, probably like a thousand. Uh, all right, and then I want to make a couple of logistics drones. Now, those are different from the vessels, as we talked about before. Uh, what do we need for this? Oh, we need a lot of copper for this. Okay, we need copper. No. Oh, oh and we forgot to replace this power pole. That's not ideal. Okay, let's go back and get some copper. And copper, hmm. I don't know if I should put copper from here because we do have a tiny bit over here, actually, that we could send over there. Um, but, but I am not quite sure. Now then the steel is gonna be a fun thing because we're gonna use that same second level box and get it uh, going through here. So that's going to be really nice. I think that was third height. One, two, two, or three. I think it's three. 
Mm, is it that height? No, it's actually level two. Yeah, it is actually level two. That's surprising. Okay, I'm gonna just do a straight shot through here uh, and then start to go down right there. And I'll go this way and I go in there. Okay, and this is going to be steel. There we are. And again, we'll just have a little bit in here. A thousand is fine. Steel. Okay, good. Okay, that is from level two. All right, this is good. This is pretty nice. So now we have this thing um, filling up. And I don't think... If uh, there aren't any drones here, I don't think you actually need to power it. So it doesn't need to hold any of our energy, which is great. Okay, so we have those two things. I guess we need some copper. And I feel like we have copper somewhere. It was Oh, it was up here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we had some up here. Let's see if we can make another tower. Oh, wait, we needed to make a few of these guys. I forgot about that completely. Let's make 10. Ten seems like a good amount initially to make. Ah, and then these we needed a few more of those. Do I have, I have one tower, but that's it. Let's see, oh, I'm running out of fuel very quickly. That is important. Oh no, can we get there? Oh, it's over there. No, we missed it. <laughs> we missed, we missed it. Okay, it's fine though. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna say see and fill up. So great, great idea. Great going here. So we are getting, oh, this is so good. Oh, this feels really nice to be able to get stuff from other planets without having to request it or any of that stuff. It's a very cool thing. Okay, so here, um, now, yeah, we need copper and we need motors. Jeez, we need all the things apparently. Now, do I have enough? I don't actually have enough, oh, no. but I think, is this one motor per each? two. Hmm. All right, we need to get more motors. Need to get some motors. So I'll go and grab those over in our new tower. Oh, I'm just going to take them all. Let's take all the motors. There we go. All right, go back over here and make some more pink barbells because those are super important to making these darn towers okay where did we put them there they are i'll just put those in there for now and do we have enough to make another tower 37 oh no <laughs> oh no but the cool thing is is this uh area is is actually really great for what we are doing here now i think uh, what I can do is, I'm not sure if I should actually do a simple. You know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a temporary solution. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna we're gonna have temporary all all day and night apparently. Um, and what I want to do with this is, I want to have a. We'll put in a box here. And this is gonna be our storage for the titanium alloy, I think. Let's see, put this in here. And then we're gonna have a couple of belts coming in here for the steel and for the titanium. But I think we're gonna need an interstellar logistics tower as in the big tower because we have too many products. We've got two here and then two there. So that's already four. So we definitely need the big tower. Can we make one? Yeah, we can, that's great. So now we're gonna get a few more of these, which is kind of great. Uh, so, in this situation, I'm going to put in a belt coming here and one coming there and just get these guys going, get the sorters up there. And then same thing here, just get these sorters going into these smelters. So that way we don't have to have these buffer boxes, which are pretty kind of imperfect anyway. 
But we should now have our next tower and we're going to get it to just import all the things. So I think... Let's see, where is the tower? There it is. Okay, good, good. This is probably going to be a temporary tower, but that's okay. That's just fine. So let's see, we want to have copper, local demand. We want to have steel, which is also local demand. We want to have this local demand. And then we want to have, I guess, titanium. Now, normally I would do this as a remote demand, but I don't want to put extra ships in here. Um, but the reality is you have to transport it from the other planet anyway. So you're actually using more energy or by, you know, just shuffling it around on the planet. But since we already have a thing there, I'm just going to use our regular drones and I'll just put all 10 of them in there uh, to get stuff. So let's see, I want to just do very small amounts here. Uh, so when we clean it up, it's not going to be a massive amount of stuff. And these do not process that much anyway, so it's going to be a good thing. Okay, uh, let's put our power on. And we're just going to try to use belts as efficiently as possible. So this is going to be, let's see, what do we need for this? We need motors for this. And then we're going to need copper. Okay, so that's copper and motors. And this one is, let's put this, this, this is going to be steel. We need steel and titanium. So the next one's going to be titanium. Uh, do we want to change that? Because we might want to have, yeah, let's change that. Let's see, there is a thingy here. Oh, oh, hey didn't set the filter I don't think none okay so what that means is that we can just remove this belt and change this belt to there no there 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 all right and this one will be steel okay so there's probably enough steel in here to compensate for this so that should be fine I think it should be fine you have enough stuff? Okay. How are we doing on power? Not good. <laughs> We're not doing good on power at all. No. No, no. Um, but that's going to be something we're going to have to solve another day, I think. Can we... Do we have another tower? Um, oh, wait. We need to... I want to pick up the, the the barbells. The pink barbells. The, the source of all life and excitement in the world. Let's see. Do we have one? We don't have one yet, but we can make some. I'm going to make some. Um, one thing, though, that we can do, I guess, is import some processors. I'm not sure where to do that, uh, but it could be a good thing to just get going. Um, hmm. Where do we got stuff? We have copper here, but it's not being smelted. We have one copper smelter here, which is just silly. Um... I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think it's actually might be useful just to split this off and put it into to a tiny tower here for now. This is going to be ridiculous, but why not? It's fine. All right, let's get some copper going on here and we'll just put in a one, two, three. Okay. Uh, put in a splitter right there. This is just bad. This is bad, bad, bad. This is bad temporariness altogether. Okay, and then put, go in, please. In. There you go. Thank you very much. All right, and we're going to set this to, I don't know, 100 or 200 is fine, and it's going to be a supply. Yeah. Good, good. All right, so this is going to, yeah, it's going to make stuff. Going to make stuff. We can even increase this a tiny bit by just adding another smelter it's just oh lack of item oh no oh no yeah let's do this and add it and use better uh, inserters for that instead okay and power power on there we go okay that's going to increase this a tiny bit uh okay we have plus five logistics drone carrying capacity yay that's very good 
And so hopefully our... Yep, we have minus 55 in transit. Oh, and I forgot. Some of our stations might be charging. So that might be why we have lower power. Oh, look at them all. Oh, this is great. They're flying. Hooray. <laughs> this is so great. Okay, so all we are actually needing, and these are all imported things. They've already gotten from the other parts of our factory. And we are now making these things wholesale. This is great. This is actually great. Wow. I'm going to take this copper and probably take the motors, actually. Why not? And then we're just going to be able to make these guys. And we'll probably put them into this tower, I'm thinking, and having them have them go other places. Okay, so I think this is a good place to stop for now. I, uh, I have many things I want to do, but it's going to have to wait, I think, until tomorrow. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.